Hi everyone, it's Emily here. I'm going to do an Easter bunny for you today. I wanted to show you a bunny I painted and he's so cute. It's a more realistic bunny. Um, but I thought it would be fun to not do a, a necessarily a realistic, a realistic bunny. A realistic bunny today. I thought I'd do more of a cartoony version but not quite. This is a copy of the painting that I did because I've sold the original but it's a greeting card really like that one so this one's kind of a cute one so we are going to start so all you need paper pen anything you want to color in you can so the first thing we need is you want to do a little kind of shape that's a little bit like a rainbow and you want to go down and down so it's almost like you're doing rainbow and then like a triangle effect then you're going to do two little lines going down it doesn't really matter if you continue them all the way and then you want to go roundy roundy don't worry if it looks strange it's fine then you're going to go so it's like you're creating almost like a chin and then once you've done the chin, we're going to do two big bunny ears. So we're going to go, we're going to start up here. And you're going to go up and down. And when you get to the down bit, do it quite thin. So it starts off thin, goes big. Then you want to do a line. Then you want to do another ear. So you're going to go round, then you're going to go, and then you're going to stop, because you've got to do this, you've got to go roundy, 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 past this one and then, because the ear is folded over, if you can't do that, I'll show you again, you've got to do inside as well. So if you can't do it, you're going to go round or round there, then that. Give it a go. See if you can do it because it's really fun if you can do it like that. So then we're going to do, we're going to do the mouth. So we're going to just do a line there, a little line there, and you're going to go roundy, roundy. So it's almost like the cheeks. And then what I want to do is like a triangle. Just do a little triangle there for the little nose. It'd be kind of cool to maybe go up a bit, but you don't have to. You could kind of like possibly create going up just because it looks kind of cool, the nose. And then what I quite like doing is adding dots. So it's like a little cheeky Easter bunny. So we're going to go, these are his whiskers or her. Then we're going to do the eyes, because this looks like it's the eye, but it's not. Any eyes you like. I want to do, I'll try and get it straight, because <laughs> it's hard for me to see working from an angle. But you could do any eyes you like. So that's just a little bit of our, um, light on his eye. And then we can do little eyebrows. And if it's a girl... You could just do cute little eyelashes, and if it's a boy, you could leave it as it is if you like, it's up to you. Then we want to do, touch just under here, and we're going to go, this is an egg. So what you want to do is draw the egg quite big, and it's going to go up under there, but we don't want to show that, so I'm just going to stop. Then what you want to do is you want to do the paws. So... This is just a line there to show that he's got a body. Then we're going to go down a bit and we're going to go like that. Because this is actually his paw. So we're going to go just a rounded shape there, just for now. And then across, because he's holding it, we want to do a roundy shape there. So make sure they're roughly the same size. Just see if it looks real, and then it doesn't look real. <laughs> and then what you want to do is go down a little bit, then you want to go out and go across, 
go out. So these are his really cute hind legs. And you want to join these up. You want to add these bits. Because then it looks like he's got more of a tummy. Because <laughs> they've got quite a cute little chubby tummy bit. Then you want to do his hind legs. They're huge. They're like, um, well, they're hind legs. So we're going to go out and curved. I think we've got a bit of sun. Quite a good thing, actually. But maybe not. I'll just turn the blinds down. Just so you can see the sun. Although I, I quite like the sun, but it might, might distract you. So we've got a line here, and it goes out. I drew this um, beforehand just to make sure I could draw it from an angle. So I drew it in pencil. So we're going to just touch this bit here, and you're going to join them up. And then touch this bit here, and join it up. So what you want to do now is you can decorate it how you like. So these bits, you could start to draw the lines of the paws to make it look more like it's these little paws. And then here, you could draw lines to show that that's his little feet, his little fomper feet. And then here, you can do rounded squares. I don't know why, but I really like the idea of spots. If you want to do spots, that's cool. You could do anything. I quite like that. It's quite nice. And it looks fun as well. It's nice when something's fun. Right, now get a rubber, get an eraser, and you want to rub out just in here. So it's just inside the paws, just because he's got his hands, he's got his paws over the egg. And because it's over the egg, there would not be a line there. Does that make sense? Right, so all we have to do now is paint it. I kind of want to spray paint the back. So, not ideal to do inside my studio. But, <laughs> but, I want to kind of show you that if you don't have spray paint, you could, if you've got a straw, get some paint and... Or actually, it might be better to get some paint and just blot. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. But I want to do the spray paint because it's just fun for you to see. So you could start up here if you've got spray paint. And it goes out. And it just kind of looks quite fun as it comes out. Oh, stinks. <laughs> really smells the spray paint. And it's dripping. Okay, <laughs> so you could, like I say, do it with. Um, I've got to let it dry because it takes a while. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna paint the bunny, and I'm gonna paint it brown. So I've got some paint that's brown. You might decide you want to use pencil, which is completely fine, or chalk. You can use anything. So I'm gonna do a little bit of brown. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get brown and white. I'm using quite a big brush. And what I want to do, I'm gonna go over with some white bits, but I'm gonna leave the nose and oh, I'm gonna leave the nose and these little bits there white for now. This is gonna not be as shiny when it's finished. Not loving the shine right now. And then got an ear. Just ear. <laughs> Been in the house for too long. And then woo, you're gonna have a huge gallery of artwork now. Um because we have done a lot, haven't we? If you followed me through the lockdown so far. We've got 10 pictures now, which is quite a lot. <laughs> so this is all brown paint. I've just got brown in here. It looks like red, but it's brown. And I'm just painting away to show that this is the rabbit. And obviously the egg's going to be super colour. Quite hungry now. I actually feel for chocolate. 
trying to be healthy, but I love chocolate. So let's just colour it all brown just for the sake of this picture video. Mm. He actually looks like a chocolate bunny. No wonder I feel you're hungry. Okay, so we've done that. Then you know eyes. We're going to do his eyes blue. But it's not the middle bit that's coloured. It's only the outside. Around here. The nice blue eyes. We could do it more white if you want. I'm trying to see if I've got any white. <laughs> the only white I've got is this. <laughs> it's rather large. So I'm going to give myself... Ooh. Give myself some white paint. You could do a white bunny, of course. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be brown. I had a black bunny when I was small. Absolutely loved it. It actually used to oink. Actually went oink, 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 all the way around and used to run around me. It was the most awesome pet ever. Right, now we're going to do pink, perhaps. I've got a light brown there. Very nice though, isn't it? Gonna get gonna get a, a red paint. Oof. I'm gonna try and get a red paint, that's not coming up. Gonna get a red paint with white. He kind of looks like brown. So what I'm trying to do is on top of the, the brown, trying to create this I'll just do very light inside the ear so that's kind of pink if you want to do pink in there what I'm trying to create is I'm trying to create some body in the fur so this is like the top of the ear that's folded over so it's going to be a bit lighter then I want to get some white and I want to kind of highlight little bits of my bunny so I like the idea that there is a bit white on him or her. The nose is going to be light, the chin's kind of light. You've got to kind of do it and see if what it looks like and then change it as you go along. He looks kind of cute. He looks a little bit angry as well. So once you've coloured it in with the paint and you've got what you want, then you colour in your Easter egg. But my Easter egg's huge, isn't it? Um, what colour should I do my Easter egg? I kind of want it yellow. Right, I'm going to do it yellow. It's going to be a lot to do. Okay, let's go. Should we do it quickly for you? So don't go over the bobbles. But I'm going to. I'm going to. Yeah, <laughs> just... I've used too much paint and I've put it on the carpet, which is not good. I think what happens with me, I don't know about you, but if I'm painting, I'm a little bit messy. Try not to be, because <laughs> your parents have enough to do. But maybe put some newspaper first when you're going to do it. Right, then we're going to do, didn't take that long, did it? <laughs> then I'm going to do the little spots. I quite like red and yellow, but I've oh, I could do both, couldn't I? I could do red and blue. Let's try that. Okay, let's try, let's try. Just gonna get a bit of red. That's nice. Now you're gonna do your super careful. Because I've I'm really rushing mine. You wanna choose some really cool colours as well. You can write your name on your egg, you can do whatever you like. You could cut it out and have a collection of rabbits. That would look really cool. So once you've done that, it'd be nice to get your black uh, marker. Like I wouldn't mind doing some white paws. Like if I had the time, I would literally put white on a lot of things because it makes it 3D. And it makes it stand out. I'm just 
blending it in as a dry brush and it just looks really cute so I think if I was to do this again I would have chose instead of the orange <laughs> instead of the orange I would have chose a green for the background because the orange against the brown doesn't really look right does it but once we've done that and it's dry you can get a black felt tip but mine's not dry so I'm just going to do it with paint but you can outline the bunny oh. you can outline him and you can make him look quite happy because I think he looks a little bit I'm tempted to put eyelashes but oh I just am so it's quite nice to outline because it's a cartoon bunny more so than anything it's quite nice to it's quite nice to outline I like the ideal He could be sitting on something, couldn't he? But I'm not going to draw that for now. But just go round him if you can in black because he is a cartoon bunny. So he kind of needs a little bit of an outline. But I quite like him. I think he looks cute. I think I might try and do a realistic bunny for you at some point because it's quite nice to know how to draw a cartoony and a realistic bunny I like the idea that he could have his um, knees kind of lighter like if this was a white rabbit this would look really cool if you've got black paper I could maybe do I could show you a white chalked rabbit on some black paper that would look nice once I've done the white I'm going to get my dry finger and I can just smudge it like it's more blended into him. See I like that, he looks cute. Whoo! okay so there's my rabbit, don't know if you can see because of the light. Let's move him closer, let's move the guy closer. Oh there he is, he's quite big now. <laughs> so have a go at doing your bunny, do you know what I've gone over there a little bit which I actually quite like it makes him look more like he's fluffy so have a go at doing it some of his head looks a bit strange but have a little play around and see what you can create and keep sending me the pictures because I love seeing them and maybe with your Easter egg you could just do a really nice colorful stripy one or something really different so yeah have a great time drawing keep sending me the pictures and um, I will see you on Monday. I'm going to draw a portrait, a Picasso portrait. Okay, see you then. Can you share and subscribe? See you then. Bye.